go. I've got my delivery arrived from Hong Kong. Yeah. Right, let's have a look. This is the H700 uh, unboxing, if you like. And I'll do a review in the next video. Um, so this has come today. Just finished work. Just crack it open. See what we got. This is for the R710. Which is the server I currently use. The cheapest chips if you're going planning to buy one. But worth it. All the same. Uh, not any other goodies in there. Don't look like it. Chuck that away. Don't need it. Ooh, nice looking fancy box. Look at that. So let's go. Oh. It's got my name on it. I'll have to scrub that bit out. Okie dokie. So let's go this side. This side. And what other side do we choose? Let me see. Hmm. This can be a bit difficult. We need Dave's knife. Dave, I need your knife. And uh, I'm British, not Australian, so I'm more likely to cut my fingers open. But uh only enjoyment for the sake of the video, eh, guys? And fortunately, no, I'm not going to cut my finger open, he says. Changely. Oh, it's one of those boxes. That's cool. Up oh, goes that bit. Don't really see this very well. I'm not really showing you very well, am I? Boom. Boom. Two packages. So, one will be the circuit board, one will be the cables that's required. Uh, oh look, lovely. Masking tape. Mm. Try to cut into the board, that wouldn't be a good idea. Find a bit where it's taped. Oh, look at that. Something you don't very rarely see when you buy stuff off eBay. Oh, yeah, the cheeky bastards. I don't think they've included the RAM cache. I'm cooking better done. Oh, they did. Oh, that's good. That's good. So, let's get it out. Anti stack bag. As long as you don't stick your fingers all over memory, you're pretty much good to go. So, that's the board and its quality and glory. Oh, it's got a back plane as well. Don't need that. I'll have to take that off because, as I'll show you, it's going to be inserted internally. This is obviously one that's... Uh, actually, no, I could do it externally. Just plug it into a PCI Express slot. Hmm, we'll have to see about that. Okay, a little bit better light. You may be able to see this a bit better. So, that's the memory up here. I do need to bring this camera closer, don't I? Here, and two SATA, mini SATA ports, I think they're called. And obviously this runs SAS drives as well as SATA boards and also has support for SSDs which I'm not going to be using in this particular on this particular occasion but yeah, looks pretty good not damaged not dusty that's pretty good so I'll pop that up there like so stay and now let's have a look at oh we've got a battery as well excellent dear Although you can use the previous battery that was used, I think it's the uh, this is what model I currently have. Um, 6i, Perk 6i, which apparently is 3 gigabits a second, gigabytes a second. This board that I've just bought is a 6 gigabytes a second, so should see a little bit of improvement, hopefully. So, as you can see, where goes what? Those two go into the back plane of the server, one and two. And these two plug into the board over there that we just opened. Move that to the side. And this is the battery. Let me go ahead and get this open ski. And also these are not brand new batteries, these are pre-used. So um 3.7 volts, capacity 7 watt hours. Excellent. 
danger explosion if battery is incorrectly replaced. Okay, there's all the uh, CE marks and all that rubbish that uh, conforms conformity. And the little three or four pin cable. Might be a five pin cable. Two, three, four, five pin cable from the battery to the circuit board. So that's pretty good. Um, and say quite good um, looked after. Quite well looked after, should I say. I think I might actually raise this camera up. It's time to get my nerves being dead straight on. I may do that in, uh, in the next video, maybe. So yeah, that's the battery, that's the cable for the battery. SAS cables, or SATA cables even. And the circuit board itself.